Okay. There. It doesn't oh. sound like doesn't sound like you have your normal mic that you normally have. Oh, here's what I didn't do. I didn't move my mic over. There you go. Now we're good there to we go. go. Now we're fine. Yeah, because we're doing this kind of fast. Is uh, it's happening? Uh, hi, everybody. This is me. You should see what the other guy looks like. That's right. I <laughs> uh, actually, what I was doing for a while there, what I was doing the other day was uh, this, uh, so that I didn't have to have anybody see me. But oh, wow. I figure, what the hell? I was ugly to begin with. Maybe this improved my looks. I don't know. You are who you are. You look fine. Well, this is uh, this is Josh, and we're going out over Facebook because maybe everybody wants to see a little discussion like this. We well, won't take a long time, but uh, I got through watching the debate, and so did uh, Josh, and we may have some other people calling us. And by the way, if you want to call me, you can call me by going over to uh, gabnet.net and over on the right-hand side, it says click here if you want to Zoom, and it'll make you part of our uh, uh, part of our group here. Uh, but I'm doing this out of, of o over Facebook just simply because it's uh, simpler. Anyway, hello there, Josh. Hello. Well, what did you think? Well, you know, I sent you something, you know, I don't know, about a third of the way through, maybe, um, just to check because, you know, I was watching and I just thought, I think this is going very well for her because of the way that he was talking and acting. I mean, he just seemed angry, you know, sort of just like in a rage or a rant. And I mean, don't get me wrong when you say the word rage, it wasn't like over the top. You know, he didn't throw anything, but there were a few moments there where you felt like he was going to, you know, put it over that limit. And, and I just thought some of the stuff that he said or, and was saying when he was going on in these things was, you know, ridiculous, you know. And I said to you something uh, along the lines of, you know, the more he talks, the better. Uh, and I just wanted to know if I was seeing it the like if you i'm sorry i wanted to know if other people were seeing it the way that i was you know i think what i said to you was you know i sent something to 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 kevin and patrick too was like you know is it just me is it is it is it wishful thinking is it bias is it or or am i seeing someone who's acting kind of crazy you know in a presidential debate and so far the answers i got back were that mm, he looks pretty looks pretty crazy and she looks pretty calm so i think that's great i mean what well, I mean, would he, he, he was he was doing something that if i were one of the hosts of the show it would have driven me crazy and i felt they didn't call him to account enough i think they should have told him you're you're, you're monopolizing this debate and he was i mean if you were to count the yeah. amount of minutes she had and the amount of minutes he had there's no question that he had maybe double the time she had. I'm not sure. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm not sure, but I mean, he did talk a lot. I mean, I did at least appreciate that there were at least a few times tonight where they they quickly dropped in for the sensible Americans out there that were listening. But hey, that's, you know, there is no state in the union, by the way, where you can kill a baby after it's born and it's legal. And there's no place yeah. where immigrants are eating yeah. dogs. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't live too far from Springfield, Ohio. It's a suburb of Dayton. Uh, I can be there in an hour. Uh, I go through Dayton and Springfield. Actually, a little closer than that to Springfield. Less than an hour. Uh, you know, um, I mean, it's close enough that I've actually had a person or two that I worked with who lived in Springfield. Uh, no one's ever mentioned anything about their dogs and cats being eaten. Um you know, but maybe it's possible, you know, uh, the city manager says it's not. But, you know, why would we trust the city manager, right? He's just the city manager. So, you know, that's Trump's whole thing, you know, is, uh, oh, well, I'm sure that's what he would say. I, I believe the people on TV, what people on TV is referring to, I'm not sure. I apparently don't watch the channel that had pretty hard coverage of the dog and cat eating scandal in Springfield, Ohio. <laughs> You know, um, 
so, uh, you know, I mean, I'm close enough that it's in my local TV market. So it seems like I would have heard about that, uh, but I didn't. You know, I just thought that the more that she let him speak, the better it was for her. You know, I mean, it was, you know, I, I'm i not really joking. I think when I told Kevin earlier, I said, I, I, I would just yield my time, you know, <laughs> just say, you know, I, I, I'd like to yield my time, you know, to that guy over there. And he, I don't know, to me, he seemed, he was just really scatterbrained all over the place with his grievances i mean i was proud tonight that she finally and i'm not saying finally as in if it, as it it was her fault because she just started running I, I, we didn't see this before i didn't think with biden that she finally is getting the democratic message to be this is all you're ever going to hear from him okay all you're ever going to hear from him are the same old tired grievances the 2020 election was stolen from me and I got this, that done, and I didn't get this, and they're me, 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 me. You know, so I thought that was great. Um, I mean, we'll see what the response is, but look, I think that I think that his people, the people that love him, that absolutely adore him, I think they probably watched that tonight. And they were acting like their team just scored the go-ahead touchdown with 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter of the national championship game. And they were jumping up and down and spiking the football because he was saying all that crazy shit that they believe. Right? So I think that they were pumped. The problem is that's about 35% of the American people. That's if all of them even vote. That's not the electorate. I think reasonable people... So Democrats certainly didn't like any of it, right? So mm. that reasonable slice in the middle, that 15%, 20%, whatever you want to call it, to me, I think they watched that, I'm hoping, and they said, man, even some of that stuff he did, I, I might I, I might like it, but man, he's he's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I mean, you know, I, mean, I think maybe uh, he looks a little strange to me, like something's wrong with him, man. Well, you know, I That's mean, how I saw it. The difference here is, and 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 I, I, you know, I guess it's maybe because I am for her. Yeah. Uh, but the fact was that she constantly presented a fairly positive message mm -hmm. of of a hope and a dream for America. Well, where his was all this is wrong and that's wrong and yeah. we're the laughing stock of the world no. and blah blah blah. Yeah. And I don't think that plays that well anymore. Well, I would agree with that. And uh, I, I mean, I jotted it down really quickly because I wanted to mention that was that, you know, his closing argument uh, statement, whatever you want to call it, was that we are a failing nation. We're a nation in serious decline. We're being laughed at in the world and we're going to end up in wo a World War Three. Uh, thanks. That's very positive. I really appreciate the very positive good message. I mean, what me. the hell is that? Yeah. You know, I mean, who wants to, I mean, even if you think the border is a serious issue, I mean, and I do, that's, I mean, come on though, really? I mean, th think about where we all live right now in our homes with our yards and our two cars and our job and our kids and their school and their basketball game. I mean, really? And we're, a, we're a nation we're, that's a failing nation, a nation in serious decline. Uh, we're being laughed at. Uh, by the world, and we're going to end up in a World War III. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I just don't know how those statements go with people who genuinely were open-minded enough that were like Trump in 2016, Biden in 2020. I don't know how those statements get those people to go Trump, Biden, back to Trump. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they have to get some of those people and the reason they have to get some of those people is because he lost last time. He lost. So that's what we've said before. If all the if all the same people go and vote and they cast the same votes, he loses again. He has to change people's mind, you see. I mean, Harris just has to keep the electorate. He has to change minds and bring people back to him. Now, she has to do some of that, too, because that's a politician's. I mean, you always have to bring people into your camp. But to me, those words don't bring people into your camp. I mean, you know, I don't think that they do. But that that's what I saw. I mean, those four lines right there, uh, 
she can just play that and just hit on that, you know, because that's not who we are. I don't think we are. Well, I think that she has been, also she looked happy. Well, yeah. And he looked smug and he looked yeah, yeah. dour and he looked. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could see a certain amount of fear in his eyes. Okay, here comes Brian Neary too, who wants. Well, to I told I told Kevin in a message a minute ago that he's he's driving around. And he was listening on the radio, and I said, I, "I'm telling you, it looks worse on television than I think it sounds. I think it actually looks worse because you know he was doing a lot of. He just looked crazy. You know, <laughs> he looked terrible from the very beginning. When I saw it at home. He looked like he was pissed off from minute one. Yeah, yeah, he looked. Well, mad. If you noticed, if you noticed when when they went to introduce each other, he was not about to go over and meet her. She walked over to him and went to shake hand. Yeah, so it was started. I don't, started think, he, I don't think he had any intention of shaking her hand. Oh, absolutely Probably. not. He was he was exactly. pissing on the floor already before he even started. Yeah, yeah. I, Brian, I, you Scott, like, what do you I think? Like the moderators. Oh, there we go. How's that? My microphone better. Um, no, I you're, don't you're like that the moderators right kept. Uh, talk anyway. Okay, go. You look good. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you know my you. my Wi-Fi takes. Just your okay. freezes my up. My Wi-Fi takes a little bit to go. Okay, but go ahead. I don't like that the moderators. I don't like that the moderators let him keep talking and getting the last word on all those subjects, especially like the second half. He kept trying to talk and they kept letting him talk. Yeah, he says, I just have one thing to say. And then he went on for like two minutes. I he, thought it was great because it made him look shittier and shittier. <laughs> yeah. well, I, you know what it was? It made it look like he was trying to run out the clock is what he was trying to do. And the more yeah, he, kept he, talking, he was also he was running out the clock, was, she didn't get, he, to, he spoke. Maybe I was saying to, uh, to Josh, I think maybe he had about two thirds of the airtime and the rest of it was hers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the content yeah. was absolute crap. He rambled like he always did. And like I was telling Josh, I said, I think, you know, all the questions that he was asked, he was basically answering with rally cries. Yeah. Everything that he says at his rallies, they were, they were asking a question, and he would come back with what he says at his rallies. And that's all it was. The only thing was, there was no people going to that rally to cheer him. Exactly. <laughs> but he was still saying the same crap. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like... And, and most of the time, it didn't have anything to do with the question. It's kind of like <laughs> if you're in a comedy club and you're a comic and you tell a joke, but there's no audience... <laughs> it's no impossible to tell the jokes, you know, yep. and that's what he found himself in. Yep. That's why he wanted an audience. I think if anybody was on the fence, they climbed over the fence. And if anybody uh, in the base, they think that, that he is great. That's what that's what that turned out to be. What he's, do you think? He's a what god you, to the base. Yeah. What do you think, Brian? Do you think this turned the tables for her, gave her the advantage? I uh I think so, but yeah, I could you could tell she was trying to hold it in too. She wanted to do some blasting, so yeah. But I, she I, hit every she hit every point that everybody yeah. thought she needed to hit, <laughs> and she did it good. I know I was I was impressed. Too. She, 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 she brought, up, brought up the eating the animals again. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, right. Why I, is he? Why is he even saying that she hates that she hates uh, Israel and she hates Jews? She's married to one for Christ's sake. How does he get that? <laughs> Just off the wall. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, I'm the only one in this room who's married to a Jew. You know, right? Yeah, I mean, I. That's what I'm saying. Some of the stuff that he talked about, I, I just don't see how. Reasonable people, um, again, you know, look at that and say, well, yeah, right. That really helps me want to vote for him. I mean, again, but, the, some of the stuff that he said was the kind of stuff that you would see at a rally, a lot of it. So that's what I'm saying. There are some of his people tonight 
who spike the football. They they're doing the woo. I mean, they're probably pretty pumped. Well, we and get, the election's it, it, over. It, it, but the only defense I have for him is a lot of what she was saying was what she would say at one of her rallies. Yeah. Well, I, I, I don't disagree with that. Testing uh, but, this material out, and it works for them. You know, but the thing but is, is answering. Oh, go, go, go ahead. Yeah, she was answering the question. He was, yeah. he would, he would well, yeah. even try to answer a question, but it, he would just go off on something else. Yeah, her That's rallies true. are at least well prepared, uh, orchestrated events rather than just ninety minutes yeah. of what normal people would describe as you know bitching and moaning about everything <laughs> you know i mean this is the way that i see it and i'm sure that you know cnn can have their resident dipshit on there scott jennings and every time they go to him he can say well you know what about the border thing and all that he got no defense for what went down tonight there's none so he can get <laughs> on there like and act like this smug prick that he is and you know, the stick that's up his ass can make him as uncomfortable as he wants. But there's, I mean, I just don't see what he did tonight that changed anyone's mind in a positive direction for him. I mean, his people were there. No one in my development is taking their Trump flag down tomorrow. That's not happening. Yeah. You know, right. which is, that's fine. That's the way it is. But I don't, I just personally, I don't see how anything that he said or the way that he acted made anyone think that wasn't decided. Yeah, I would. I would like to have him as president rather than her. You know, of people who were watching this to help them make a decision. I, I think mean, anybody I, I was there to to find to to get answers as to who they would vote for. Yeah, I think they would probably walk away from there not particularly. Uh, feeling averse to voting for her you know i mean yeah. she, right. she presented herself in a way that you couldn't posit possibly feel guilty about voting for her. yeah i mean she stayed pretty calm you know and i thought he got a little like i said borderline enraged a few times and at some point i think that her message of let's not keep doing this will continue to resonate resonate <laughs> With every time he starts talking, it is just at, wrong. Everything's wrong. Everything negative, 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 negative. I mean, you know what I appreciate? Where's people her, out? What I appreciated about her was that I've often, often argued that they blame a lot of things on her that she had no control over. She yeah. wasn't the president. Right. Okay. She wasn't the president, period. And so consequently, she didn't have control over a lot of stuff, but mm -hmm. she didn't throw Joe Biden to the wolves at any I, point. Right, right. You know, and I admire her for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she just defended the administration's record fairly because, you know, I think that they understand that despite what uh, he, you know, he says and, and everything, there are enough polls available that show. You know, a lot of the things that the administration has done are not that unpopular. You know, Biden may not have a great approval rating, but, you know, the abortion issue is certainly has certainly swung to the Democrat side. Right. Actually, you know, his economy approval rating right now is neck and neck. Yeah. His approval rating right now has gone up considerably. Probably. I, yeah, I haven't he really decided not came. to run. Yeah, right. So that's what I'm saying is. It's it's not. She doesn't need to run away from the administration's record, because the polling doesn't indicate, and really common sense either, that there's this huge outcry for it to change. You know, I mean, so she's running on, you know, hey, I'm my own person, and I want to continue a lot of this work. Let's keep continuing forward. And he's running on, no, everything's a disaster. Let's drag it all back down and, you know, I guess rebuild from, you know, the basement or whatever. I mean, I, you know, I mean, that's he doesn't really have a coherent message. But, but you know? he, he started rambling and said, oh, let's go down right now. And you right. sign a bill right now to close the borders. Mm -hmm. you know, he, put the, he, put the, 
he put the wall up and, and people are still going around it now. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know how he thinks he's going to, she's going to sign something saying close the borders and people are going to stop coming over. Well, I love how he said, I can't remember what he was referring to. I think he was referring to the border thing. He said, uh, no, 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 no. It was about Ukraine and ending the problem there. Yeah. He said, I will have that ended before I take office. Right. Well, I got news for him. He has no power to do anything before he takes office. Yeah. So how he did he that accomplish that without that power? Yeah. And he said that before, like, oh, I can end this in 24 hours. There's senseless murders being done. It's like if you really cared about that, you would go in there and say, hey, Biden, let me help you. Let me go to Ukraine. Let me go to Putin and let me help settle this thing. You know, but no, he doesn't want to do that. Only it's, it's, it's like a threat, right? It's like you make me president, and I and I will do that for you. Well, if he was such pals with Putin, uh, in spite of the fact that he wasn't president as a private citizen, he could have gone to Putin and said, yeah. "I think you should stop this." Yeah, but he didn't do it. It's because it's about him. That's right. It's all about Trump. You know. Yeah. Well, no, the the whole election is about whether Trump gets convicted or not. <laughs> yeah it's really what it's about and, yeah. and i mean it, you know it's uh kind of brought that up i mean she she didn't want to hit it but she at one point she did kind of get him for the felon that he is you know yeah yeah she pretty good in these points all like she hit like all these like sort of like kevin was saying but she hit all these topics and sort of hit it hard short and then was done with it then dragging it over and over like Trump did. well it, you know there was also a a thing she had to do she had to stay on the good side of things mm -hmm. she right. get down in the dirt with him uh which is very easy to do she maintained her dignity throughout the entire proceedings mm -hmm. Uh, and I, th I think she did a good job. I think that she did a good job against him. I, of course, I wonder if he's walking away thinking he did a spectacular job. Probably, yes. Best debate because, ever. Yes, because the people around him will tell him that. I mean, I think that there is great evidence out there from you know, the books that have been written that he's complained about from reporting from what historians have learned and just common sense that says the people around him do not challenge him with negative information. So I'm sure that they are positive with him because that's the way to stay close to him if you want, uh, you know, an important job. So, okay, sure let's, he did fine. let's go to the, uh, the, the arbiter of all of this, someone who, if he was going to have done well, would have said he did well tonight, and that's Drudge. Yeah, Drudge has did a you... picture of Donald Trump, and <laughs> below it it says the end. Wow! Well, and then it, the, says, the web... then it says over to the side, the night Trump lost it all. Oh, you know that the one thing that I did fine. notice is that the you know we've talked about how the moderators never really challenged some of his answers and they did do that tonight yes, yes. yes. David, David Muir did come back and say well you said this and you know challenge some of his answers they didn't deep drill it but they did yeah they did challenge some of his answers yeah yeah right you know yeah. it's, it's you know this is a fact you know can't remember one of one or two of them right off hand but they did actually not just move on to the next question they said well you said this and how do you respond to that and of course he would dodge the damn thing yeah yeah i thought they you did know, a much better job i thought they did a much better job than in the first debate i'd like to have seen just a smidge yeah, more of that you know but taking but the off only the thing got, they couldn't pretty, pretty they did good. a good job of controlling trump i mean when he go i have one thing to say and then he went on for five minutes. Mm -hmm. They should have stopped him. They should have said, Mr. President, yeah. please shut up. Yeah, each yeah. time, yeah. you know, that he would start to talk, I noticed they would turn his mic back on, and they don't have to do that if it's not his time to talk. Right. They didn't have to do that. But There were times didn't. her mic was on during the whole thing. 
Yeah. So, yeah. you know, but I mean, so it was better in that, in that sense, in that regard that there was a little bit of pushback this time, at least from yeah. some people on the panel, at least saying, Hey, before we go to the next question, just so everybody knows it is not legal to kill a baby in any state in the year yeah, yeah. after it's born. Yeah. Okay. In all 50 States, that's exactly. a crime. All right. You know, if the baby is born and it looks like a zombie and it's retarded, you, we don't, we can't, we, there's, we can't do it. All right. It doesn't matter. Right. No. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's not a cat. Is you know, it's like, oh, I had twins. This was the run of the litter. Let's, you know, no, that's not how yeah. it works. Okay. The you other know, one so, was, uh, they say that. What were they talking about the pipeline and then they went into the, 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 the uh, prisoners that were being turned into transvestites in the prisons or whatever. Yeah, right. Uh, what were we talking about? The damn. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we're talking about oil, and you're talking about transvestites in prisons right. that are being turned into. Uh, yeah, their own, I mean, uh, turning them into transvestites. Uh, what? Yeah, talking about providing <laughs> a, a gender transitioning operations to illegal immigrants who are in prison. Um, yeah, I would have said if you want to keep talking about that, I'll go get a coke and I'll be right back. Hello, Lincoln Project. Lincoln Project on Facebook. They have Trump and it says, I don't have a plan. I have concepts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's been nine years in the making. And I'm almost there. You know, I don't. I, yeah. I mean, I, I like some of that, you know, stuff that happened. I mean, like I said, again, letting him talk about transgender illegal immigrants who are getting and you know, dogs are being eaten by immigrants. Yeah, their 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 gender care in prison. Um, I'd say keep talking about that. I mean, it's That's interesting because, like I the, said, uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, it's almost as good as the uh, kids that go to school and then they come home uh, as as a different person as they right. you know, they go to school as a boy and they come home as a girl. Yeah. What are they doing at those schools? Right. You know, and three days later they're just giving them sex change operations at school. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. And and some of this stuff will, will play because, like I told you, you know, I don't live that far from Springfield and it's in my local TV market and my local news just uh -huh. came on. OK. And their lead story at the beginning of the local news was Springfield, a topic in tonight's debate. And they're getting information from the city manager on TV locally here where he's saying we don't have a problem with people's dogs and cats being eaten. I mean, it's on my local <laughs> news. So you know, it was their lead story. So. It was barbecue sauce. You know, I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. I don't live that far from there. I mean, I know people that live there and, you know, work in Columbus. So that kind of stuff, regular people are at least seeing it, you know, because tonight's debate audience, I'm sure, was pretty damn big. It was expected to be. The last one was mega. Um, and the one with Clinton was huge. So a lot of people probably saw it. And a lot of people get more local news coverage. Then they get, you know, watching Morning Joe and all that kind of stuff that we talk about sometimes. People who are really into it see that stuff. But, you know, a lot of people really don't. And we talked about that before, right? Fox gets 2 million viewers in a night for a show, and it's like, oh, my God, the highest rated show ever. I mean, it's 2 million people, right, out of, you know, 380 million. But a ton of people are going to see these kinds of things on local news, and a ton of people saw tonight's debate. So, I mean, we don't have the numbers yet, but I, I can't imagine that they were in the toilet. There was nothing else going on tonight that I can think of. You know, no big sporting events or whatever. They typically schedule these things when they do for a reason. And it seems to me like a lot. Of, yeah, I, I just don't. I don't see, again, what he said that makes people want to vote for him. And. You know, someone made the point earlier tonight I was watching and I agree with it. This is what I've been saying is, you know, this will make Patrick happy because he talked about it. She does have plans to go into some of those rural counties in Pennsylvania and those rural counties in Wisconsin, even counties that she is going to lose 77-23. Because as people have pointed out, all she really needs to do there is lose 75-25. If she can lose those areas, 75-25 rather than 77-23, those little pickups and all those margins add up to a victory in the aggregate of the state. 
So right. that's why she plans to go to those places. And they said, they, they said, sure. you know, look, they learned their lesson from Hillary. You know, Hillary went to Pittsburgh and campaigned and said, oh, we went to Western PA. No, you went to Pittsburgh, which is in Western PA, but it doesn't represent Western PA. Right. All the areas around it are totally different from Pittsburgh. You know, it's very similar to where I live. And so they've said, you know, that's why they did the bus tour there. They're going to do another one. They've got more of that plan. They're going to go into that upper area north of Philadelphia, you know, 80, 90 minute drive north of Philadelphia and talk to those middle class people that probably are going to vote for Trump in those areas. But again, she's just trying to lose that particular county 75 25 rather than 77 23 because that's gonna swing the election for her and I, my point i guess of that long deal there was i don't see what he said tonight that stops that strategy from working for her mm -hmm. maybe you guys do but i didn't you know i mean that that's my point is i just didn't see what I didn't see what he said that that makes people in those areas who could, you know, migrate between who they would vote for to to choose Trump. I mean, to me, he looked aggravated and rattled. And I don't think most people want a president who gets aggravated and rattled. You know, I think they need someone who, when the shit's going down, is like, OK, let's give me the facts. OK. Get these people in motion. I need this person to come meet with me. I need this information. Hey, let's make sure this is getting done. And, you know, and then moving on. Not, you know, people who just, I mean, he's just just a grievance guy. I mean, I, I you know, I think it was the best possible outcome, personally. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. One question she didn't answer, which she could have answered smart. I don't think she answered it. They asked if she's met with Putin, if she's ever met Putin. And you know, she starts talking about Zelensky, but yeah. you know she could have said, yeah, "I'm vice president. My president has met with him several times, or something." But you know, not. She sort well, of yeah, and she, and she hasn't met with him that I remember, exactly. because yeah, yeah. we're not really in an open diplomatic Conflict. relationship yeah. with him right now. We've seized exactly. diplomatic relations, which means we don't meet face to face with Putin anymore. When we want to operate diplomacy. Someone you've never heard of in America talks to someone you've never heard of in Russia and they <laughs> exactly. pass that on up. And, you know, I mean, that's yeah. our diplomacy with them right now because yeah. we don't have an open line of communication with them. So you know, it's just to, neither you know, Trump's you know, fault nor uh, Biden's fault. I mean, and, and, you know, to be fair, we don't that's not Trump's fault or Biden's fault. The, the reason mm -hmm. we don't have an open line of communication there, that's Putin's fault. You know, I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. so. But, you know, it, that problem isn't fixed. But those problems sometimes can't be fixed. Sometimes there is no plan. Right. Right. You know, I mean, we can't make them uh, play nice with the rest of the world, you know. So it's, it's just, but look, I thought it was, oh, and, and, I thought it was and good. part of that is because the, the people like Putin and, and Kim Jong-un are, are, obviously using Trump as a tool. I mean, it's mm -hmm. obvious. And that's one of the reasons they want him elected is so they can have their tool back. Yeah. I, I, I was glad that she pointed out that yeah. these people, these dictators, they would like to see him reelected because they do know that they can manipulate him through flattery and personal favors. I believe that was her... Yeah statement and i believe that to be exactly. the truth so i think that was a a good point yeah. you know, i think we've seen it before great point. yeah yep. i mean i think that's the truth yeah well i was worried that maybe she wouldn't wind up looking good tonight i had every expectation she would uh and but in the beginning marjorie even felt she was a little kind of playing it cool mm -hmm. okay once it kept started going and she saw what she had stand, standing beside her, she became very confident. Mm -hmm. You know, she suddenly said to herself, well, this ain't no biggie, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, 
I thought as the debate went on, she got uh, better and better, um, yeah. you know, yeah. and apparently, I don't know, it just came up. Apparently, five minutes ago, Taylor Swift is out saying she's voting for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls in a big Instagram post. Oh, really? <laughs> Keep me quiet on that one. Yeah. So, you know, um, wow. This must have just happened in the last two or three minutes because they literally just showed it. And I can't believe that they've been holding that back. So, you know, that's coming out tonight, um, which ain't going to hurt. So, I mean, I don't really know what it does, but, uh, you know, yeah, look, I thought she got I've been reading here, If I've been, what I've been reading here on Drudge, which are a lot of, you know, articles that come from various places. Yeah, yeah. I and I discounted the one from NBC, but there are some that are just saying he didn't come off too good. You know, this this yeah. this may be the end of him. Hey, if it is, yeah, I don't know right, if it is. I watch Swift endorses uh, uh harris there you go you got it from me no way yeah but i'm just saying if it is if it's true if that's what happens and i hope it is there is no better place in the entire universe that it could have happened than in philadelphia pennsylvania at the Nas national constitution center looking straight at independence hall there is no better place to have hopefully squashed the most anti-democratic person to serve in that office and, and, a, and a fascist, if you ask me, there's no better place for that to have come to an end than right there where it all started, you know? So I don't know if you believe in, you know, a God or the gods or whatever, but if that's the case, hey, that'd be the most... Well, if... if I couldn't if, think of anywhere better. If Perfect. what I'm reading here is any indication, he's not got loser's breath. Hey, don't make me sad. You know, I mean, it, you know, he, you know, I, I look, I'm with you. I, you know, going into it tonight, I was a little bit concerned. Um, you know, if nothing else, because of what happened last time, you know, and, you know, we saw how that went. And, I, you know, I just thought, you know, I mean, I hope she's not all nervous or gives some kind of rambling answer or whatever. And I mean, but you know, something, I got to say something for Trump. You know, in the first debate, when Biden had his blowout, yeah, Trump handled it very nicely. Mm -hmm, yeah, he handled it, he perfect. He handled it nicely. Tonight, he blew that because yeah. he referred to that particular debate mm -hmm. and started putting Biden down for how he fell apart. Yeah, and about, you know, you'll have to wake him out of bed at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You know what I mean, I mean these mean-spirited things, you know, that are honestly what they are. Again, not to his people, to normal people. They're petty. I mean, they're petty. They really are. Mm -hmm. I mean, so what if, if this guy that you know can't get out of bed easily or doesn't walk very well? or These are petty things. I mean, it doesn't matter. If this, you would never talk to someone about their elderly parents that way or, or, or what, you know, you do not conduct yourself in that way. If right. you ask me as a grown adult, yeah. you know, and that's the stuff that, that he was doing. And, you know, again, if, if she wins this election and it sounds like it takes a turn here, let's say, and it's very positive and she wins this election Man, Philadelphia, I can't, I'm serious. I just cannot think of anywhere better than Philadelphia for, I mean, if the road to her uh, uh, victory starts tonight, then man, that is, that is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, well, it, listen, it's been about an hour and I think we all probably should go to bed because this is a work night for some of us. Uh, and it's a non-work night for others of us, but I, I just felt we should talk about this and put it up on, uh, yeah. on, uh, 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 what do you call it? Facebook, uh, so that we could have some kind of, uh, debriefing on all of this with people that I really like and that, uh, I consider very intelligent and smart people. Um, and I, I hope that this is... What what'd you say? I think Kevin's at the massage place. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.
celebrating. Yeah. Oh, it's an Italian restaurant. <laughs> anyway, we should all we should all go and do whatever we're gonna do, and I'll be on tomorrow night and we can talk about it some more. Are you gonna be around uh, tomorrow night? I will not be here the next two nights, but I will be here Friday night. Friday night, right. And, and I hear rumor that we look okay for Saturday. Okay. And Kevin, you're going to probably be here tomorrow night. So, and uh, Brian, of course. So, uh, you know, we'll talk about it tonight after we've gotten over this uh, uh, sugar high that we're on. Anyway, <laughs> don't we love to see him fail? Anyway. Everybody, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. See you later. Okay. Bye. Bye.